Where did you get this? At home. It was right there on the front steps of the lighthouse. Why? Tangi and I were talking earlier tonight about the way she keeps on disappearing on me. We made a joke out of her leaving me a shoe the next time it happens, like out of Cinderella, you know? I mean, this is hers, and... Excuse me. Josh. Yeah? I don't mean to be heartless, but uh, I hope that we find out that the only thing that's happened to Tangi Hill is that she's decided to move on. I don't want her to be in trouble. But all I can think about right now is my son. And I pray to God he's not with her. Just drop the money down to me and you'll never see me again, I promise. I think he's lying, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I do. There's a hose in that shed that hooks up behind the porch! He's running away! Where's he going? Is he going to help us? Ray! Damn you! Damn you, Ray! You're out there! Being so greedy. Ray! Ray! Help! Somebody help us! Help! 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 Somebody help us! Help! CBS News Special Report. Oh. Hi. Would you mind telling me what's going on out here? That's a pretty row, Miss Spalding. I wanted to say congratulations on your company. I, I heard the good news. And who the hell are you? I'm Ju... Um... I'm Bridget Reardon. I, I was here last year with I my brother. I have never seen this girl before in my life. And may I ask what you people are doing out here? How long does it take to, to, to arrest a simple trespasser? Never mind. Coming. that Roger Thorpe is not only alive, but apparently still kicking, but obviously you've already well, we found out. We it on the radio, and then there was a knock on the door out there. Sorry. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing I was the one that was out there instead of Roger, isn't it? Otherwise, you'd have finished him off for good, and then you really would have been in some trouble, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. My wife faxed you all the information on my son's friend's addresses. Right. That Make sure they know that they have Bill's fingerprints at the police station. Oh, that's right, right. Listen, the school routinely fingerprints the kids, so you should have those uh, those things on file there. Exactly what time did I uh, last see him? 9 p.m., I think, right? Hold on a second. You didn't check on him after that? I, I'm sorry. I, I, I thought he was sleeping. Mm -hmm. Anything? No. You want some coffee? Yeah. Listen, I have a uh, reporter stationed at headquarters, okay? So in case, just to make sure that they stay on top of it. Oh, good. Thank you. What do you really think? Sweetheart, I think we're going to find him. Mm-hmm. All right? Okay. 
So did things go okay with my no, father earlier? No, no, you overheard it. I didn't... Uh, yeah. I didn't check on him. I thought he was upstairs to sleep. Yeah. That's all I got is a yeah? So no. I could have sworn you two were fighting about something. No, no, honey. I already told you. Mm -hmm. We weren't fighting. Okay, so what were you talking about? Well... Ah, uh, look, he's your father, okay? He had some concerns. We just had to talk about a few things. Well, That's I want to know what things. I mean, what was so important that you had to leave at 3 o'clock in the morning to talk about it? Look, sweetheart, he just doesn't want you to get hurt, okay? That's what we talked about. He doesn't want any of his children to be hurt. You know, you can hardly be around Billy Lewis for 10 minutes without realizing that. Was this about Alexandra? Well, we'll just wait. Was my father giving you a premarital warning about keeping her in line? Understandable. What else? Oh, honey, wait a minute. They've got a report on a couple of kids who were caught trespassing. Is it Bill? Just a second, I don't know. No, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's a couple of girls. Well, keep us posted, will you? Billy. Yeah. Hold on. See if there's a police record on Tangy Hill. He's gone! He's not even gonna try and put out the fire! What are we gonna do? We're just gonna have to jump. Down. No! No, yes. we can't! It's way too high! Come yes. on! We're gonna have to go down the stairs! No! Watch out! Ah! Hold on, Bill! Cop. He would kill me. We're not going to get arrested, okay? Well, why do you think we won't? We were trespassing. It's not a big deal, okay? Yeah, we were trespassing on Alexandra Spaulding's estate, who happens to be one of the meanest old maids in the county, if not the whole country. Did you call that lawyer like I told you to? Not exactly. What is not exactly? Is not exactly yes or no? Well, uh, look, if you must know, I called Tommy Weather. Did you make your call? Oh, Frank! Julie, Frank, on? thank you so much for coming. I'm so sorry to get you down here at this hour, but it was just a big misunderstanding, really. Detective Levy is supposed to be a good friend of Tony's. He thinks he's going to arrest us. For, well, for what? These little ladies were found uh, clowning around the Spalding estate, and they had the misfortune of scaring Alexandra Spalding half out of her mind. Is that right? Any property damage? Nope, that's it. The Spalding filed a complaint? Not yet, but I gotta warn you, Frank. Alexandra Spalding was very upset, and she wanted to make sure that these ladies were arrested. Well, you know what? Uh, I got a better idea. I'll only call Alan Michael Spalding. Maybe he can calm his aunt down. Okay, I'll call him in a couple hours. Well, you know, you don't, you don't have to wait. I mean, um, Al Michael's an early morning riser, right? I mean, why don't we call him right now? I'm sure he won't mind. Come on, Billy, you can do it. I can't! Yes, you can! That's true! Right, I'll just grab my wrist. I can't! Just try and grab my wrist! Uh, yes. My hands are slipping! No. Just let go of the bag. Grab my other hand. Let's do that. The money will fall. I don't care about the damn money. I care about you. Now grab my hand. Yes. 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 Yes.
Come this way. You stay here, okay? No, no. Don't leave me, please. I don't want to be alone. Look, I promise you. I promise you I'll come back, but I gotta call for help. Just let me go. I'll be back. I promise. charges against the trespassers. Look, she told the arresting officer she told you, and now I'm telling you. What extenuating circumstances? No, no, I don't want to come down there in the middle of the oh, night to sign a complaint. Wait, hold, hold on hold just it. a moment. What? Darling, I think you should go down there. Is that about these Yes, young yes, girls? it is. Well, then I think you should go down no, there. No, no, they broke the law. They were out playing around on the middle of our law. No. Right, Michael, tell him you'll go down there, please. Why? We're not hearing everything on the radio. The police know more. If you go down there, you'll be able to find out what's going on. Please, darling. Detective Levy? Yeah, okay. I'll be down there in a few minutes. You do me a favor. You keep an eye on her while I'm gone? Sure, of course I will. You just make sure you let us know if you find anything about Roger. Yeah, yeah. Thank I'll you. be right back. All right. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Your choice. Blackjack, gin rummy, strip poker. Oh, I love this old man. Do you know my father had this brought back? It's an 18th century manor house relic. <laughs> what are you looking for? I'm looking for glass rings, or Roger Thorpe probably set his cocktail glasses. Seems like everything in this house has a slick, waxy feeling of Roger Thorpe. No amount of polish or scrubbing can get rid of. Now listen to me. Roger Thorpe may have lived in this house for a while, but this wasn't his home. Never was, Alexander. This is your home. Yours. 
Well, something about it just doesn't feel the same. I mean, I, I, I feel like in a way I've been, you know, victim locked in the cellar while someone's up here rampaging and just tainting every single thing in here I own. I feel violated. You understand that, Fletcher? You know, now that Roger's come back from his grimy little grave, I have this terrible feeling he has come back just to get me. Just get me for taking back what is rightfully mine, what he stole from me in the first place. That's possible. It is possible. However, I have this sneaking hunch that Roger has something far more deliciously sweet in mind for you. Oh, really? Like what? Like having you arrested. Oh, come on. Not you two. Please, please. Alan, Michael, then you. What? Does every man in my life think that I shot Roger? Oh, no. I'm not accusing you, though, because I know I wouldn't get a straight answer. Well, now, there's a ringing endorsement of my innocence. It doesn't matter if you were the one who shot him. Roger doesn't care. Whoever shot him, Roger's just going to do his damnedest to make sure that whoever he hates the most is the person that's going to fry for the job. And for where I'm standing right now, that makes it you. I know you and Daddy are angry with me for not telling you about Tanji. It doesn't matter now. Yeah, it does. It matters to me, and I'm sorry. I just wanted to give Tanji a chance to come clean with Josh, that's all. Why? You don't know Tanji. Well, I didn't do it for her, Vanessa. I did it for him. Oh. I guess I half expected him to toss her out once he found out the truth, but he didn't. And that's when I realized that he must really care about this woman. And I didn't think that I'd ever see Josh care about anybody ever again. She kind of opened a door for him, you know, and I just didn't feel like it was my place to shut that door in his face. I mean, it has to be his decision. It's his life, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you holding up, Billy? Well... Be a hell of a lot better when they uh, when they locate my son. Yeah, well, we got a lot of people working on this, so we'll find him. Yeah. Look, Billy, I don't um, I don't mean to beat this into the ground, especially now, but I did something tonight that I swore that I would never do again. I lied to Melinda, Billy. I looked her right in the eye and I lied to her. I I covered for you. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I, I appreciate it. And I swear to you, you won't ever have to again. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're damn right about that, Billy, because I won't. You know, I've been thinking that this is some kind of a sign, a, a punishment that uh, let me know if the things that I've got to lose if I have another drink. So I'm, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to worry. I, I'll never do it again. Hmm. That's not good enough, Billy. Well, Nick, it's gonna have to be. All I can give you is my word. No, no, that's not all you can do, Billy. You can tell your family the truth. No, no I can't do that. Billy, Billy, you think you're kidding anybody here? Vanessa knows that something is going on. And you should have seen Melinda's face when I offered up that lame excuse for you. Billy, come on, they sense something is happening here. Don't make it any worse for them by acting like nothing is going on. Look, just, just tell them you slipped. Tell them you slipped, but you're back on track again. They love you, Billy. They will support you, okay? But only, only if you tell them the truth, man. You gotta do this. Let me ask you something, Nick. Is that a suggestion, a request, or is that a threat?
Yeah, hi, this is McHenry calling in. All right, where's the fire? One Lighthouse Road! If I get this thing open, we might be able to jump. No, it's too high. It might be our only way out, Bill. You really are scared, aren't you? No, I just... I just get dizzy, that's all. When I was a little, this, a bunch of kids built this fort on top of a hill, and I climbed up top, and when I looked down, everything just started spitting, and I, I was afraid if I took one step, I'd fall. I, I couldn't move, and they called me chicken, and they laughed at me, and my dad had to finally come and help me down. It's hard, it's hard. I'm not scared of something. It doesn't mean you're chicken. It just means that we have to have the courage to be brave in these kinds of situations, and we got a situation here. I mean, we're in this small little room. You know, I don't like that. And we're up high, and you hate that. But the fact is, we're staying here. We're gonna suffocate. Are we gonna be brave together? I guess so. But how are we gonna get out? We can't get the window open. sure I'm buying your logic there, Fletcher. Alexandra, you know my logic's being perfect right here. This is vintage, Roger Thorpe. You take Spalding Enterprises away from him. So what does Roger do? Frames you for attempted murder. But Roger's kind of revenge is, is always more hands-on. Yeah, really? Then why hasn't he laid hands-on when he's had all this time? Hmm? And what about all that time he wasted when nobody even suspected that the man was still alive. All directed at me, isn't it? All those anonymous phone calls to Detective Cutter? <laughs> yeah, just try to imagine. Who might that have been who placed those calls? Ah, oh, yes, of course, that stupid bracelet. I mean, the one the police could conveniently find in Roger's bloody jacket. <laughs> Now that he's back, if he decides to say that I shot him, I mean, without any real proof, well, they wouldn't just believe him, would they? People who get shot are generally accepted to be the best expert as to who pulled the trigger. So, no, I'm sorry to say that what you're going to have to defend yourself against with Roger is his testimony. Well, I wish I'd hear something from Alan Michael, you know, I... And I don't trust that Detective Cutter anyway, you know. He seems to have an obvious resentment towards the upper class. A common sentiment among the masses. 
Maybe there's something new on the radio. We've just received word that a second major fire has broken out tonight. The latest one is Springfield's landmark lighthouse, currently occupied by local designer Melinda Lewis. It is not known if anyone was inside the structure when it caught fire. Nick! Oh, no. Frank, I got no problem dropping the trespassing charges. Listen, thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, well, as long as Alan Michael Spaulding agrees. <clears throat> oh, uh, he'll agree all right once he sees who it is. <laughs> but I got another problem, Frank. Yeah? What's that? Miners drinking. I got a big problem with that. Lucy and Julie were drinking? Their arresting officers found a dead champagne bottle in the back of the cab that they took to the Spaulding place. And we both know that they're underage. Yeah, I remember when I was their age, uh... I was no angel in that department either. Then I sobered up when a buddy of mine ended up in a wheelchair because he was driving while drunk. At least they had the common sense to call a cab. Well, it wouldn't hurt to teach him a little lesson now, would it? Look, if I'm going to work the missing Lewis kid case, I'm going to have to get someone to help me track down Thorpe. Budgets? What? Do I know about budgets? Look, I'm telling you, we don't track down Thorpe. You're liable to have another murder on your hands to investigate. Another shooting. That's right. Right. Did I hear you just say Lewis? Yeah, what about him? We just got a call on a four alarmer out at the old lighthouse, Mindy Lewis's place. Lewis? Wait a minute, that's the kid's sister. Well, Frank, I mean, I, I know that you know Miss Balding pretty well. Maybe you could talk to her and get her to drop the charges. Yeah, maybe, but uh, I think you're in a little bit more trouble than just trespassing. Why? All we did was climb over the stupid wall. Yeah. No, you did more than that. What? What? Well, Detective Levy is planning on charging you both with public drunkenness. Oh, oh no. My dad is going to kill me. Here. Blow into these. Uh.
smoke. Billy! Where's Nick? Is he inside there? He might be. My little brother's in there, too. Oh, Bill? Yeah, yeah. Daddy and Nick went in after him, and now we can't even see them. Nick, don't be in there. Don't be inside there. Please! Provided by Founds. The woman you love could be near death, and you must risk your life to save hers. But can Josh rescue Tangie in time? Quick, turn on the light, guiding light, Monday. And now that Victor knows Victoria and Cole are married, he's desperate to find them. Whatever happens now, it's a nightmare in daytime, Monday, on The Young and the Restless. <laughs>